This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. As we have the 2 p.m. update here with David White, we've got a few things, some uh, mixed messages in the market. Fund buying is traditionally over by today. That is when uh, most funds, uh, about 80% of them, in the uh, contract they have with uh, the buyers say that they will be long 100%. And, of course, uh, that uh, is hedged by money managers. You don't want to confuse those two. But uh, about 80, 85 percent of all uh, ETFs and funds have to be long uh, any of the cash that they get the rest of the month by then. Uh, the TLT is basically flat on the day 102.50. It continues to uh, at least tread water, if not go um uh, lower it did bounce to about 104 pulled back to 10248 uh starting to looking uh forward i don't have it on the list here but uh it's certainly jobs numbers in the morning i believe they're at 8 30. uh probably bigger uh for me is golden week over on uh, monday so we'll start having the chinese come back and of course we've had a fairly large bounce off the low uh, the question is, do they come back to the market and start buying also? A possibility. Of course, yesterday OPEC made their uh, cut uh, pronunciation, and uh, they're going to be cutting a little bit. Now, we don't have much movement. That's because uh, why we have almost nothing left in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve uh, we're going to double down on taking that out until a couple of days after the election. So right now, crude oil's uh, still up about uh, just a hair off of 1%. But uh, that is on the background of uh, basically selling our seed corn uh, this year and then expecting uh, that we'll have any kind of buffer if anything bad would happen. Be back in uh, just a few minutes with the show. And, of course, uh, Tim Ord on uh, at 2.15. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky.